When you're using OData Analytics or the OData API in SAP by design um, on your external system um, or a third party system, um, you require a business user uh, to log in into those um, analytics reports. Uh, now those uh, business users um, follow the security policies that you have in place. If um, the third party system uh, requires it for automation, you'd probably prefer that these logins do not expire um, unless you want them to. Um, to do that, you need to create a security policy where the password does not expire. So you're not prompted every three months or so to reset the password to a brand new one. To do that, you need to create a service agent in your SAP by design tenant. So you find that under the business partner master data. Now we just click on new service agent and you give it a, uh, an appropriate name so that you know what, what it is um, or who, who's using the service agent. So I'm just going to call it OData service user um, ABC system. So you click on save, and then you request um, a user. So let me just copy this. And then what this action does is it creates a business user in SAP, and that's where we would go next. So under application and user management, you can get to the business users work center. And then um, we need to find that user that we created. So SAP automatically creates a user ID. Um, and we will modify that to something a little bit more simple. So you just go click on Edit and then Attributes. And OK, so I'm just giving it that. Um, the key part here is to create a security policy. So we'll click on view details here under security policy. And we've actually created a couple already. Um, so, so these are custom ones that's been created. You can have only one if you want it because it's the same policy. Um, but if you have a different one that you want to apply, um, then you could just create a brand new one. So to create a brand new one, you just click on Add Row. So our new policy is has this code that ends with 12. And then we'll just go say service user for ABC system. And then you can have the same description here. You'll probably likely just have one um, custom security policy for a password that doesn't expire. Um, so the key part here of what you need to set up is this section here for maximum password validity. You would set it to blank. And if you hover over the question mark, it tells you what this field is for. It says it defines the maximum validity period of the password. After this period, the password must be changed. So if you set it to blank, there is none to check against. So your user... Um, your, your user will not be prompted to change the password. So, um, so we'll click on Save and Close. And then the next step would be to assign that security policy to this user. Um, so it hasn't refreshed our screen yet. So we'll just save and close this and then edit once, once again. Um, and then we'll see that drop down be updated. So we have our new security policy. You give it a password, an initial password, um, and then uh, you, you do your settings change as you see fit. So date format, uh, time zone that it's going to be operating on. If it's um, an external system or a third party system, uh, that's automated. They're probably working off of um, uni universal time 
code so you probably want to pick that time code um, so there's no conversions being made um, however it does get translated depending on the user that's logged in so it gets converted to the time zone of the user if they're looking at documents generated by uh, by the system um, so um, we'll click on save the other key part that you need to do is to edit the access rights for this user so if this service user is only um, accessing certain pieces um, of the OData analytics system um, then what you would do is you need to ensure that they have access to the work center for those specific reports that they're accessing so so that's that becomes key it uh, it authent the OData API will authenticate this user um, if they can access those reports so what you need to do is you need to make sure that you have assigned those work center to um, to that old data service user so um, if you're if they're accessing financial reports for example uh, on the old data API then you would give them access to uh, the financial sec section um, so I put in uh, the general ledger perhaps so it really depends where those reports are reside um, the other thing you could do to secure it is when once you're in here you can set up access restrictions for that and then here if you notice you have read access and then write access is uh, unrestricted here so you could probably go in here and modify it to say no access on the writing part but they can read whatever they need to be uh, to read so um, so that just secures um, your system because this is a business user so th there's no stopping them from um, logging into the SAP uh, tenant using this um, uh, this service uh, sorry there's this login um, so you you want to make sure that you have the proper authorization so that they can run the report and also apply the appropriate restrictions so that you have your your uh, controls in place as far as writing data into the system so uh, so that's a key part of um, setting up a service user um, for um, a login that accesses the OData API.